Hey guys, it's Cora. I know I've already made a video today, but I'm just making another one because I have not made a lot of videos in the past week, so I'm just making a lot of videos to make up for it. So, if you realize I'm making a lot of videos in one day, or not as much as I usually do, that's why. So, anywho, I had a friend ask me how I edit my videos, and... Two of the apps I have cost money to edit them, but I am going to be showing you some apps that I have used in the past that are completely free. So, anyways, um, I'm going to tell you the ones that cost money. iMovie and Video Shop. If you go to iMovie, here's what you'll see first, but with none. Press the plus sign and you have these two choices. If you press trailer, this will pop up. You can make like a movie trailer. But if you press movie, you can choose the type of movie that you want to make. It doesn't matter. Whenever you choose, that will pop up. I usually press recently added and pick out a video that I want to edit or create. And yeah, I press the arrow and then your videos will be at the bottom. You can edit them, and I usually go to the settings part and add and and check the two fade in from black and fade out to black because I think it's cool. Moving on to Video Shop. Whenever you get on, you get something like that. Whenever you press the plus sign, you get these choices. If you press album, you'll get something like that where it shows all of your videos and photos and stuff. Choose what you want and you have awesome editing choices to choose from. Enjoy. I would have to say that iMovie is better. In my opinion, I think it has better editing choices. Sorry, Video Shop. But Video Shop is really awesome also. I'm... Because Video Shop is way cheaper than iMovie, but I understand why iMovie costs more. It's a really good editing app, and so is Video Shop, but Video Shop is something really good you can get for cheap. I'll leave a link to those, um, to those two apps in the description below. Remember, they both cost money. In this next part of the video, I'm showing the ones that I've used before that are free and they will sh I don't have the app because I deleted them a while ago because I got these and um, <clears throat> these are the the next ones I'm going to show you are free but I can't get on the apps of course because I deleted them and I don't want to download them because I'll run out of space and stuff you know so any anywho here are the apps that I used and they're really fun and really neat. I'm going to start with video stars where you can make um, music videos but you can't talk. This is kind of like video star but you actually can talk and it's really awesome. Ghost Lens is where you can make videos and it seems like there are lots of people in your video but it's only just one person. You. Dub Me is where you can make voiceovers and easy tutorials for free. Pick Play Post is where you can make video collages. It's really awesome. Musical.ly is a very awesome video. You can make awesome music videos. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and goodbye. And be sure to watch my other videos.